So hi guys, once again, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chinyar of Jules Taglam. It's your first time here with me. Thank you so much for being here. And if you already subscribed to this amazing channel, you are awesomely, truly welcome. How are you all guys? How are you all doing today? All right. So today we're still on PDD saga. So, um, yesterday PDD was, um, you know, decided to go to court yesterday to fix a date for his, uh, trial hearing. He said he wanted it to be as quickly as possible. Um, so it's been fixed for the, for May, 2025. Now in that same vein, we also real, um, learned that he, um, that he also, um, filed for another, um, bail hearing. Uh, but apparently I don't think the bail hearing, um, you know, moved, you know, it didn't move the needle. So yeah, but then there is a plot twist to all of this. And this is actually why I'm here. So PDD, um, in actual fact, he's, um, accusing, um, the Homeland Security, of leaking the Cassie video to the public. Now, you know, in the course of everything I've been doing, there is something that has kept on escaping my mind. And this is the one I had to draw it back, right? Okay, so he's um he's um he's accusing um you know homeland security or the feds of leaking that Cassie video. Now um if we all recall in the first in the first hearing the video was cited as a reason why, you know, the judge said, well, you know, that will not fly. You're not going anywhere. And then, you know, we also, also talked about witness tampering, which it has been, um, you know, proven that he actually, you know, went to, you know, either to coerce or threaten or, you know, um, convince the witnesses to say that what happened during the freak offs were all consensual. Now it's quite unfortunate. Didi has decided to toe this path. Um, in all honesty, it's quite unfortunate because it says a lot to me about exactly all the things that he's denying. Um, I've also called into question the fact that the judge for this case was removed until tomorrow. We do not have any concrete explanation or reason why, um, the judge for this case was changed. And I am calling a lot of BS right now, uh, on this change, but we are still, you know, we're still looking around, uh, 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 you know, we're still watching to see how it goes now in, in the, in, in the, in, in the, in the wake of DD. First of all, you know, let's break this down. Now, the, the video, if we all recall, I'm sure we've all been there. I'm going to attach all the videos I've done so far from my lives. I'm going to put it here. And I will also try to do lives during the trial hearing, God keeping us alive. Now, um, if we all recall, while Cassie... When Cassie came forth, right, with all of these allegations, <laughs> what did, did he do? He was, he, he sat on top of the world and said he, it wasn't him, that this was all about a money grab, right? Boom. We all get to see the video Friday night, CNN releases the video and boom, the whole world sees him for the animal that he is right now today pdd is challenging that video my question is why in my head it's not even my it's not a question i just want to say this for you to be challenging that video it says a lot about you it says that you're a bully it says a lot it says that you are actually a bully because for you, that video you think is influencing public opinion, the public opinion about you. But at the end of the day, PDD, public opinion or not, you still have these allegations flying against you. You still have people who have been crying out for years 
about the fact that you did all these heinous things to them. Let us not forget that this is a man who has openly talked about the fact that they had, he used to have free coughs up until the day he was arrested. People, let us break this down. Up until the day he was arrested, he was still arrested with drugs. He was arrested. He was still doing free coughs up until 2024. So why do you think that the videos, right? Again, the video is removed or not. We all saw it, right? So why do you think that the videos, whether they are removed or not, is influencing public's opinion? The jury is coming from the public. Taxpayers, it's from the civil society. That's where your jury is coming from. So like it or not, you still, you know, are abused. And I think you're also forgetting something very important, Didi, that Cassie is also being mentioned, right, in this um, lawsuit. So again... Cassie was also cited in the lawsuit. So again, video being there or not, is that going to stop you from being, you know, again, Didi, maybe you forgot. It will be foolhardy of you to actually testify. It will be foolhardy. Maybe you also forgot that when the feds arrested you, they actually cited drugs, GHB, um, ketamine, and all, all whatnot. They were cited. So, which means, and this is proof that you actually use these things either on yourself or on other people. It's proof. Now, going further, maybe for some reason you actually kept forgetting one thing and this is what i kept on forgetting in all of my you know in, in all of the videos i've done so far you have an mo your mo is drugging people you have access to these drugs cocaine ketamine and you know whatever you have access to them so your mo is using you know these drugs to induce drug fueled freak offs point blank period let us be clear that today is not the first time we've heard of that, this word freak off. This is someone who has gone on late night shows and actually spoken about his MO on how to get the women, you know, yeah, frisky. He said it on live TV. We need um, alcohols. Right. Alcohols. Right. Not just one alcohol. Alcohols. Right. Just Florals. different blend. You need Blends. the ladies. You need the booze. You need um, some water. <laughs> <laughs> For watering plants? No. What? No, no. I don't know if guys have noticed this. Like, a lot of ladies drink water at parties. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. <laughs> Okay, this Let's, is sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know, yeah. rock with me, but just right. check it out. You need um, a lot of heat. A lot heat. of heat. Yeah. Heat. You mean that physically the place has to be hot? You don't have no air conditioning. No air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol, and it also affects, like, um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice little sweat. That just sounds disgusting. What are you doing? <laughs> Depends on the way you look at it. Oh, people yeah. start getting kind of, it gets kind of sexy. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah, you sexy. This is someone that we have that the, the moment that video came out of him brutalizing Cassie, he came out with an apology video. I want us to remind PDD, be, uh, be the brother love. Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, take a look. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. 
I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Thank you. You admitted, you legitimized that, that you legit, you legitimized the act. Your mom apparently showed that she understood from the get-go everything you were doing. She knew everything you were doing. There was a question I forgot and there was something that I missed when I was, you know, doing that segment of my take. Um, and I forgot to ask that question to Mama Janice Combs. Dear Mama Janice Combs, has there been any point in your, in all of this, has there been any time in all of this um, scandal that you've called Cassie or you've reached out to Cassie and said, my darling, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My son did this to you. I'm sorry. Such and such happened to you. Has there been any time you did any of that? And I am guessing you've not as a mother, as a mother, that should have been the first thing you should have done. Forget about your son. But dear Mama Janice, like I said, I find it very, very, very difficult, extremely difficult to believe that you had no clue what your son was up to or has been up to. Again, there is a video I saw where allegedly, you know, you were taking drips. I'm going to attach the video here so that we can watch it all, my dear brothers and sisters. So again, in a nutshell, all of this that his lawyers or PDD, I would say PDD is doing, is it shows, it's very clear to me that he is a bully. It's very clear to me that in a sense, he has not understood very clearly the gravity of the situation that he's in. The gravity of the situation that he's in is saying that you used bad boy records, right? As a cover for racketeering, sex trafficking, human trafficking, prostitution, these are the allegations against you. So, I don't know. Something is missing somewhere in all of your understanding. And I feel like, I feel like you haven't still been able to grapple very well with your situation. And for some reason, maybe, you know, because of the powers that be you feel that are behind you or something. I don't know. But I feel like you have not been able to put into perspective how much of a deep you are in. Make it make sense. So, yeah, this is, again, I am highly disappointed. Well, I'm... I'm not like, I think it was to be expected, but again, um, talking about a smear campaign 
and all whatnot. Um, I'm sorry. I think it's a little bit too late for that. Um, case in point, you legitimized the video of you attacking a woman, Cassie Ventura, who was fleeing from you. So on this note, guys, this is where this video ends for me. Um, like I said, we will, I will keep you posted. We will stay abreast of the situation. Do not fail to like, do not fail to comment, do not fail to share, do not fail to leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me hear from you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful, marvelous week. Bye.